We consume so much content all the time from watching movies, series, as documentaries on the PC, on the TV, on the phone, reading books, uh, reading e-books, listening to the audio books, listening to music, listening to the albums, uh, reading different articles, seeing pictures on social media. It's so much all the time. In all of this mess, I feel aware consumption is very important. What you watch is equally important as why you watched it and how it impacted your life, and that's very important. And that's why I'm making this series. My name is Suyog. Also known as the Fun Indian Guy, I'm a service designer, musician, filmmaker, and a podcaster. And in this series, I'm gonna chop down some of the beautiful creations on this planet, be it a series, a documentary, a book, or an audio book, or or a music album, or anything, or app on the phone. And I'm gonna talk about why I consumed it, or why I used it, or why I saw it, or why why I heard it in the first place, what it exactly was, or what it actually was, and how it impacted my life. The last part is very important because that's how we take in inspiration. That's how we do stuff. Uh, the impact caused by all these things which are around us. So let's roll the intro and get into our first episode of the series. Why, what, how? Let's go. Why, what, how? In today's episode, we are going to talk about a Netflix original series called Abstract: The Art of Design. It's a beautiful, amazing series on Netflix, and we're gonna talk about it. And the first question is why I consumed it. I frankly don't remember it was 2 years ago somebody came to me and told me about this beautiful series about designers called abstract uh, the art of design on netflix and each episode was about designers that's all i came to know the person who told me maybe a professor or a classmate from a university told me it's very inspiring and it's very nice and that was sufficient for me to at least see the trailer on youtube i went on youtube i saw the trailer of the abstract and i was blown away by the communication of it like the way it was visually communicated what's important is the story, the message, the feeling, the connection. It's design. It was goosebumpy in a way to see just the trailer and that's why I went on Netflix. I didn't even have Netflix back then, took the account, started watching it and that's how I consume Abstract. So what is Abstract? Abstract is a series where each episode is dedicated to one particular designer and all these designers are very famous and well-known designers from different different fields. For example, here we can see in season 1 the episodes are about an illustrator, a footwear designer, a stage designer, architect, automotive designer, graphic designer, a photographer and interior designer. And then season 2 which just came out in September has a bio architect, costume designer, design for play, digital product designer and typeface designer. So each episode is dedicated to one of the famous designer in these particular fields and it's a very nicely done series where you go with the designer around where they work where they are going around where they're doing meetings you see their studios you see them like hands-on working on things and then there is a very intimate conversation between you and the designer because he sits down and tells you his experiences and stories and how he came to be and how his different life experiences got him where he is right now or here she is right now and it's very interesting to understand the why because most of the times we are aware of the creation of these designers for example some of the buildings iconic buildings created by this architect or for example instagram but the creators and the designers behind it when you see them in action in, when they talk to you they do conversation with you the things are very organic and authentic and i really dig it because when you see these people and when they converse and it's I don't know, it's a very nice experience. It's very inspirational, first of all, very spiritual. You also understand how these people think about things, how they have developed a perspective about life. And those are things being a designer inspire me or also being a creative, they basically inspire me. At the same time, the series is well shot, like all the frames, all the footages, all the videos which are there in the series are nicely done. Nothing is like popping out. It's all soothing. It flows through in and out and goes through the journey of the person then there is a storyline and it's beautifully done and there is one small detail about abstract which i really like is the intro like the title track and every title track is dedicated to that particular designer following their style their visual style their work style their the kind of work they do and it reflects in the title in the communication design it's very interesting you should see it if you haven't and that's all about abstract that's what abstract is so the next question is how it impacted my life very important i have written down some some of my notes about why and what uh, it was but how I've kept it like very open-ended because I really want to reflect it in a very organic way so when I saw the first season I finished it within hours I like I was so 
interested in all of this that I kept watching episode after episode and I was very inspired because I understood the take of these designers on life and the things around and most of the times you will realize it's not just about one type of design it's it's all the things which are around them like how they have been brought up what kind of life experiences they had what kind of people they met what kind of people they worked with what kind of projects they did like all of these things are affecting what they are doing right now so it's not very specific and it's very fluidic dynamic and organic and which was quite inspirational also for me in life because then i could relate to them seeing the process through which they went and it's a very spiritual experience to understand the basic thought process irrespective of the design practices like just your perspective and view about life is very important to understand because that's the very organic core to which you should hang on and then everything comes out eventually through it and most of the episode had this tone of voice because all these designers left their hometown or left their origin went somewhere else and did the design practices and learned through the experiences and became what they are right now and they had this similar tone of voice of going back to the roots and the underlying message was you should leave your house you should go out and explore and come back in order to understand the importance of where you come from and what you really got out of the life experiences and the creation is a very interesting thing because it has so many things really attached to it that everything amalgamates together mixes together to bring something out and to sum up my experience about abstract is the basic human values you have to have in order to create good things and everybody talks about the basics instead of talking about all the cool things they did everybody is always seeking for that one basic particular thing which brings them home be it a physical place or their mind but it's always about going home and realizing what we can do with whatever we have gathered on the way it has to do something better than what came before we can play together we can live together there's nobody in the room there's also no art yeah, if we are to survive on the planet we must design where we're going from here. So that's all from our first episode of Why What How series. The series was in my head for a long time and finally it's coming to a reality which is quite fun and exciting. But please let me know how do you like it or how do you find it. If you have some feedback, put it down below in the comments because this is the first kind of like a pilot episode. So I know what to do or what, where to make it a little bit better than before. I'm really happy that this series is coming live now because then it gives me a lot of scope to talk about different topics, be it like apps and books and documentaries and life events. And it, it gives a kind of nice structure. So it's easier to express. Uh, apart from that, a fun fact that the title track which you heard in the beginning of this series is completely created by me by using my mouth like beatboxing and making noise and making sound uh, apart from the last pen scratch. It was super fun to make it because it brings back the musician inside me on the channel. That being said, don't forget to have fun because having fun is like a basic necessity of our life. If something is not fun enough, question it. Why is it not fun enough? And if you're not able to come up with the answer or if you're trying too hard to justify why something is fun, maybe try finding something else which is more fun and keep doing it because it's all about having fun because we have got this beautiful life and we have to make best out of it and having fun, spreading fun, spreading smile. Yes, if you like the series, or if you like the content which I make on all these platforms, go and tell your friend, like maybe one friend at a time, ask them to see it and give their opinion about the channel so that we can get more people in this family, which is growing, which I'm happy about. But it's just fun to make the family bigger and have this bigger hug because it's too cold here. And why, I don't know why am I shooting this whole sequence with just a t-shirt when the temperature is like one degree Celsius. I have to finish it fast so I can wear my sweater. I will see you next week with the podcast, which will be about the apps, the best apps of 2019 or whatever is from my personal experience and a friend's personal experience. And we will be diving into that topic in the podcast. And I'll see you in the next week. Till that, have fun. Ciao. Why, what, how?